What's up, y'all? <laughs> Live, grand, and all that rising. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Water, early in the morning. Make sure you keep yourself hydrated. You got to keep yourself hydrated. And sometimes my body kick into this thing to where water tastes sweet. And I'll be like, ooh, I want some water. <laughs> I got to get me some water. But on top of that, I take these and I go down to this spring. It's probably like, from where I'm at right now, it's probably like 70 miles. It's like an hour and some change or something like that. And I ride way out there and I fill them up with this really good water and I drink this water. Like all the time. Other than that, I'm drinking tea. And it's a science to tea. I'll give y'all a little secret. So everybody be trying, I got to keep telling y'all about terms and all that. If you push away from what people say about things, like stop listening to people, all right? Stop, especially the people who took all the information and then regave it back to you, like, hey, we found the cure. How you found something? How you find something and it's always been out here, right? Anyway, stop doing that because what they're giving you is reprocessed situations that don't really serve your body. And when you put these placebo aspects into your body as medicine, they leave breakdown. That break that breakdown eventually builds up on a molecular level and it causes more problems in the future. People don't be aware of that because they going to satisfy their taste. They got to satisfy their flesh. I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to eat what I want. I ain't what you want. Do what you want then, if that's what you think. But Divine said, I got a way for you. I'm going to show you something that you're going to love, and it's going to satisfy you in the same breath. So I ain't bet. Well, you got a lot of people around here that, that love the obesity aspect, and they just can't stop. I do the inverted aspect. Like, I like to eat, but I like to eat good food. Like, I eat a whole bunch. Of, like, I'm sorry. It's something about Indian food when it's cooked right. I go bonkers. Curry? Oh, my goodness. I go bonkers. It's just, if it's done right, I don't need no meat. I'm going to eat that all day. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love it. I get, yo, oh my God, I fall in love. Like, my... I ain't gonna even tell y'all. Like I, I can't tell y'all the depths of my love for curry. <laughs> I can't tell you the depths of my love for curry. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like any form of curry, you know what I'm saying? Only curry I don't really like too much, and this is this ain't no shot. But I don't really like Chinese curry too much. It's like it don't really meet my palate. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like something missing. You know what I mean? But it's alright though. No, no slight if you watching me. No slight. But um. <laughs> Yeah, um, it's a science to tea, you know what I'm saying? And if you understand what certain seasonings are and remove them from your mind as seasonings, then you get back to seeing them as herbs. And then you go get these herbs naturally. Like, there are different processes the way you can get them, right? the way they separate the value. So go get the ones that look whole leaved. Get whole leaf herbs, you know what I'm saying? Don't get grinded up anything because they can put anything and grind it up. You want it so convenient, you don't care that it's grinding up. Get the whole leaves. Go get it, get it when it's attached to the branch. Or get it fresh if you can order it or something like that. And make you a tea out of that. Dry it out yourself. You know what I'm saying? Make a tea out of that. Learn these medicinal purposes. Stop going to the store with a box of tea and get that. You don't know what's in there. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. Back in the day, we used to go to McDonald's. You could not tell me that tea ain't smell like... See, because... When you when you when you live in when you live in, in, in poverty or you live low kinda, you know what I'm saying? Like you live around things that ain't supposed to be around you, you just see stuff and you experience things that no person ain't gonna experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially coming up in the hood. So, like, for example, sitting next to a bucket that got a lot of trash in it, like bottles, cans, and all that, it's filled up with rainwater, and somebody dumped guts in it. A whole bunch of uh, cigar guts, like, you know what I'm saying, the tobacco or whatever, and it sits there and the, and the water from the rain turn brown and it starts to give off a smell with the beer and the tobacco mixed in the water. You smell that, you be like, I know what that is, that's the tobacco in the water. Then you go to McDonald's and they tell you this tea, but it's this certain smell in there that's the same as that tobacco. And you're going to tell me I'm tripping. 
He's going to be like, nah, you tripping, yo. Ain't nothing wrong. That's tobacco. I don't care. Yeah, tobacco in there. Tastes like cigarette butts. The same thing, they, cigarette butts sitting in the water. With, yeah, that's what be tasting like with tobacco in the water. I'm like, yeah, you ever wet your cigarette and then put it back in your mouth? It's going to taste like sometimes. Y'all better wake up. They might be mixing that with, like, yo. And if somebody told me, like, yeah, yo, they be, they be doing that. I'll be like, yo, where have I been thinking that for a long time? <laughs> Yo, it's crazy because you know the difference. Go get some regular tea and then go drink some of that some of that, that restaurant stuff or some of that, you know what I'm saying, some of that McDonald's tea. You're going to see a big difference. It's like somebody dumped cigarette ashes <laughs> or cigarette tobacco in and be like, y'all want some tea? You want some dark brown tea? I'll make it dark brown for you. <laughs> anyway, let me stop tripping right now. But it's a science to making tea, you know what I'm saying? So I combinate different values of things that have um, attributes that feed my auric system, meaning it feeds my chakras, you know what I'm saying? Particularly, your chakras have different energies particular to the value of certain organs in your body. So it, if you start learning this science about yourself, you can feed these things. You can give them certain time. And then, and then me, I live off the bare minimum. Like, yeah, if, if things change, I will change. But each level I live in, I live at the aspect or simplicity, because that is divine. The reason why we were a culture of people that was always... I was waiting for my tea to cool off. That's why I was in there talking about tea, because I wanted it. <laughs> this tea got everything in it. That's good. Um, divine is always sim simple. It's always simplicity in each process. Whenever you start getting amongst the energies and it seems too complicated, that's i.e. ever the fact that you're not ready for that process or somebody else has you walking through the wrong door or yourself, you know what I'm saying? So these are those potentials. But understanding the value of what divine put you here, go back to that and search it out because you're, you're magnetically attracted to certain things, particularly for you. And you might have seen that and be like, oh, I like that. And somebody be like, come on, nobody care about that. Come on. You'd be like, okay. And you just like, <laughs> let it go, let it go. But that's divine, always throwing them signals. But every time you walk away from the divine, those signals seem like they, they, they was right here, then it's like right here. 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 Then it's like way down there. And then you're like, oh, I don't I like what they like. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. I don't care. It'd be just like that. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be in control of the value and understand what, what's happening. The world got so many nuances and they're hitting you every day, bombarding you with all this crap. You know what I'm saying? You sitting there like, yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this is, you don't even know what, you don't even know what is, is for you yet. You know what I'm saying? Because you won't satisfy nothing in yourself. You do everything outside of yourself. It has to be attracted through these purposes. So what you see, smell, taste, and touch, that's what you like. You ain't found out what you like inside you yet. You know what I'm saying? So when you do something, it ain't new to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's normal. That's why you stuck in normality. You don't know what you like yet. And because you don't know what you like, you're going to do what everybody else like. So you're going to be bored. You know what I call that? The conveyor belt of life. Get me up off this place. Get me up off that. Let me step off that real quick and look at y'all spin around in a circle. Facts. Facts. You got to find you. You got to find you, yo. You know what I'm saying? And when you find you and you got that, how you got that, and you shine that, how you shine that, that's when life going to change because it's going to be you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what makes the value stand out. Like, I want to come kick it with the version of you that's inside of you. Not that bullshit you got around you that you done learned about. You fronting and stunting. Now, you know I say? Fake it till you make it. I hate it when they came out with that. I'd be like, yo, why? You great in your own. What's wrong with you? Do you not know what's spinning around you, going all up in you, where you come from, what's happening, the reason why you hear the processes? Was, why do you know what you were connected to? And then everything I've been showing y'all in the last four classes sits right here every day. You can see your existence. And only you can explain your existence better. I can't tell your existence. You're standing in it. How I'm going to tell you you and you standing right in the incremental space where you at. 
You're at a dimension, you're at a digital space. You're at a circumference. You're at a ratio. Every motion you move, that is where your existence is. Who can speak to that but you and where your feet, your feet stand? Yeah, somebody can look back and visualize, but that's only from their perception. It's not the actual where you seeing it from. They can see what you see and gauge from a different perception, but only you see from where you see. Naga. Love. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm going to come back at y'all with a couple more. Y'all ain't know the vibes. We hit. We're going to turn up. I might do three. Three more. I don't know. Come in the house, come in the house, show your love, show your love, like, comment, subscribe. If you like what I'm doing, it's not as helping you. Information always in the description. Show your love, show your love. I'm going to keep showing mine unconditionally. You already know the vibes. And love and peace to all my subscribers. Deuces. Naga!